black people, the time of believing in things that literally insults our own intelligence is now over. It is time to learn the truth of our plight and condition. The problem has never been a silly slave syndrome myth. It has always been white media subliminal programming. The collective minds of black people are not being manipulated and controlled by the silly Willie Lynn slave syndrome myth. The truth is that the collective minds of black people are actually being manipulated and controlled through unrelenting white media subliminal programming. The white media's unrelenting negative depiction of black people that amplifies the negative to the point that it distorts our reality is much more than just biased media reporting. It is actually a covert, insidious, demoralized, divide and rule psychological warfare propaganda campaign. Demoralized divide and rule is a method of maintaining control over a targeted population through constant and unrelenting demoralization in order to create self-hate and division between the targeted population. It is a well-proven tactic that oppressors uses for controlling the oppressed. Because when the oppressed are demoralized and divided, they are much more easier to control. The constant demoralization of black people is easy for the white society to achieve because the white society controls all black mainstream media images, statistics, and societal narratives. The white society therefore literally owns black people's interpretation of our collective state. White social scientists determined a long time ago that by perpetually negatively controlling what black people believes about ourselves, they could demoralize us divide us, create black self-loathing, and shift black collective regressions away from the white society and redirect it towards and against ourselves. Furthermore, that as long as they were kept within this condition, they could rule over us forever. This manipulation system is deployed like a massive media marketing campaign that constantly subjects black people to receiving only the fraudulent worst narratives about ourselves. Within this system, fraudulent, black, racially demoralizing and devaluing propaganda is being pumped unrelentingly into the unsuspecting minds of the black population without being challenged nor counterbalanced by an equal amount of black positive, racially affirming information. It conveys the subliminal message that black people are now our own worst enemies and that we therefore need whites to govern over our lives. Moreover, that black people should admire, respect and trust only whites. This system is extremely effective because when black people are repeatedly presenting these subliminal programming narratives from trusted white media sources, it can be very difficult to resist its subliminal programming, especially when the propaganda is being told daily and so unrelentingly. Uh, its weapon is the demoralizing message that it carries and the way that it negatively affects the black population in terms of our unity and our behaviors. With time being unable to refute the constant negative information being told about us, many black people become, they feel humiliated and then eventually comes to accept that these false narratives are true. The constant taunting of negative propaganda and constantly negative influence how many black people perceives our community, creating self-hatred among us. The ultimate goal is to demoralize the black population to such an extent that we begin to doubt our own ability to govern over ourselves. And we believe that we therefore need white people to govern over our lives. Moreover, we believe that we're better off living under white dominance and therefore we abandon all hopes of ever liberating ourselves. It also creates black self-hatred and unity which attacks the core foundation of what bonds us as a people and we can then be ruled over forever. The basis of this concept of warfare works by affecting the subconscious minds of the black masses through unrelenting demoralization. It works by tapping into the immense power that shame has upon the human mind to mentally enslave black people. Those black people who do not critically think never notices their mental chains. No group can be constantly inundated with negative information about themselves and not be negatively affected. It's not impossible. This programming of black minds is all possible because people are like computers. All you have to do is keep giving them certain information every so often and you can persuade and steer an entire generation towards an applied objective. 
it doesn't matter if the information presented is untrue. Most black people act upon it because they've all been given the same disinformation about ourselves. This is our hidden reality. This is not some feeble-minded premise, nor is it some silly conspiracy theory as so many have been brainwashed to respond. It's the truth that they hide from us. Media subliminal programming is a true, well-proven system that the ruling elites have totally mastered. It is a system that they use for, uh, for um, manipulating targeted populations, the masses, and particularly the black population. Oppressors always secretly manipulate the minds of the oppressed to think in ways that ensure that they never unify and seek retribution against the oppressors. This fact has remained consistent throughout Western history and especially still true now in regards to black people living under white oppression. This psychological warfare system provides the white society with a more proficient method for controlling and subjugating black people. For unlike the past blatant systems used in the past to meet that objective, that black people could easily identify and therefore unify ourselves against and develop kind of strategies against, this system is not easily recognized nor is it easily comprehended by its black victims. This psychological warfare system works so well, in fact, that it not only makes black people more compliant with white dominance over our lives, it in fact in many cases causes black people to even prefer white dominance over our lives. It is at the root of the profound feeling of self-hatred that afflicts so many within the black community and it is the reason why so many black people now revere as whites in spite of a brutal history to the contrary. It's also the reason why many black folks, when you mention black liberations, so I don't hear that black liberation shit. We've been programmed against liberating ourselves. Sally, to our own detriment, the oppressed will always believe the fraudulent worst about themselves. That's a quote from Franz Fanon. Black people, it's time to elevate our minds above biblical fairy tale and silly slave syndrome and learn the social science, the tactics that are being deployed against us, the true tactics. We must function based upon what is true because if our understanding of our plight and condition remains flawed, then all of our liberating strategies that stem from those misunderstandings will also be flawed. This is why those of us who know the truth must teach. We must learn the truth so we can develop the proper kind of strategies to liberate ourselves. Brothers and sisters, it is time to wake up. One love and peace.